Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video will show the movement of the stone from the distal one third to the proximal one third of the ureter. You can see the left kidney and it shows moderate hydronephrosis with mild to moderate hydroureter with two large stones in the ureter. You will see the movement of the ureteric stone from distal third to proximal third of the ureter during the ultrasound scan, during the ultrasound examination. You can see the ureter and it is traced downwards and you can see two stones lying side by side in the distal one third of the ureter near the urinary bladder. It is generally thought that only smaller stone may be impacted in the ureter but in this case you can see two large stones in the ureter lying side by side. You will remember that the stones are lying in the distal one third of the ureter and in the later half of this video I will show you the movements of one stone during the ultrasound examination from the distal one third to the proximal one third. Now once the stone gets caught in the ureter it may partially or completely block the flow of urine. The blockage causes pain that is usually felt in the middle of the back of the side and may radiate towards the groins. If the stone is blocking urine flow and it is left untreated, it can cause damage to kidney or ureter. You can both see both the stones lying side by side. This is your knee bladder. These are the stones lying in the lower one third of the left ureter. This is ureter. And now you can see the measurement of these stones. Quite large stones. Approximately 60% of the kidney stones that are 4 to 6 mm will pass on their own in about 45 days. Around 20% of kidney stones that are larger than 6 mm will pass on their own in about 12 months. However, when stones are this large, it is best to seek immediate surgical removal. A ureteral obstruction is a blockage in one or both of the tubes that the ureters that carry urine from the kidney to the bladder. Ureteral obstruction can be curable. However, if it is not treated immediately, symptoms can quickly move from mild to mild pain, fever and infection to severe loss of kidney function, sepsis. Now again you can see the left kidney and the kidney shows mild to moderate, moderate hydronephrosis. Now as I turn the patient on back to see the kidneys from the prone position and later on when I ask the patient to to be in the spine position you will I saw the one stone moving from the distal one third to the 
proximal portion of the ureter just close to the kidney Now, large stones, especially those that fill the kidney or stones that remain untreated after a long time can cause permanent damage to the kidney and may lead to kidney loss. This damage often occurs without any symptoms, which is, that is why it is important to see the urologist if you have a stone. Now, again, you can see the kidney, left kidney, and this is the left kidney. Now, as the ureter is being traced, you can see the stone lies in the upper one third of the ureter you can see this is the left ureter and just a few minutes ago both the stones were lying in the distal one third lying close to each other now one stone had moved from the distal one third to the proximal one third Now you can see the stone, the stone is lying in the upper one third of the ureter and the second stone has remained in the distal one third. This is the ureter, this is stone. A ureteral obstruction that causes severe pain might require an immediate procedure to remove urine from your body and temporarily leave the problem caused by this blockage. A ureteral stunt, a hollow tube inserted inside the ureter to keep it open. Now, the ureter is being traced and you will see the second stone. in the lower one third this this is the stone in the lying in the upper one third Now the signs and symptoms of the kidney and ureteral stone may include pain in the back and side, often just below the ribs, pain that changes from the kidney to the level of blockage into the ureter, pain with urination, nausea and or vomiting. Now you can see the ureter, middle one third, lower one third of the ureter and the second stone is seen to be lying in the distal one third. This is the stone, stone. Now the other symptoms of the kidney or ureteral stone are frequency of maturation, urine that is cloudy or has a strong 
strong foul smell blood in the urine most small stones in the patient with relatively mild nephrosis can be treated with observation and painkillers and more serious cases with intractable pain may require drainage from a stunt or percutaneous nephrostomy so both these stones are seen one in the upper one third and the second in the lower one third of the ureter you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks